Do you guys hear that? Do you hear that? Welcome Disciple Land to episode 6 of Fear Busters. And this episode's title is Did You Hear That? So you have to find out what that means. Enjoy. Let's begin with our chant. You should know this by now. Here we go. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back.
next verse. something very special for you for this episode. As a matter of fact, we want you to take this quiz with us. Let's see how good your listening skills are. So right now, I want you to try to grab a pen and a paper nearby so you can do this quiz with us. And so that it's not just for you guys, everyone in your family can participate. And to add a little bit more fun, we had some special guests who also took this quiz. So, join us, especially you, Lena and Rachel. Let's see how many you can get correct. Nice intro. I like this music. Welcome to oh. Did You Hear That Disciple and Quiz? Yeah. There will be a total of 10 questions. 10 questions. It's four different levels at green, easy, orange, medium, red, hard, and rainbow color is wowzers. You have to guess which animal makes this sound. So go grab a paper and a pen and we will begin shortly. 10, nine, oh. eight, Countdown. Seven, six, five, four, three, three two, two one. one. Here we go. All right. Ding, ding, ding. Number one. Tag on in there, uh, uh, uh. Kinda sounds like a duck. Or a donkey? <laughs> Wait, what is this? A. Goat. B. Cow. Or C. Duck. C. I chose C. Duck. This has to be a duck. I've heard this a lot near my park. The answer to number one is C duck. It's easy stuff. Easy stuff. Number two. Shin <laughs> Oh my. 
A. Elephant. B. Chicken. C. Sheep. A. I don't need anything else. It's just elephant. Elephante. The answer to number two is A. Elephant. Number three. Ah, this was easy. When cat do you? A cat. B dog. C donkey. This is so easy. It's a dog. It's a dog. The answer to number three is. B dog. Yeah. Number four. This is a human. This is a human. What ah! ah! What the? What is this? A. Fox. B. Gazelle. C. Deer. Can I hear the song? What the What sound does the fox make? Fox. I want to say fox. The answer for number four is a fox. <laughs> I never knew fox can make this kind of noise. Oh, Toyota. Number five. That is so gross! A. Camel B. Giraffe C. Llama I'm gonna go with... Giraffe A. Camel Hope it's not Llama The answer for number 5 is... A. Camel! Yay! Oh, I sound so weird. Oh, my camel. Camel is my pungo gotten there. Number six. <laughs> Sounds like a monkey. Monkeys. Oh, they're like laughing. <laughs> A. Leopard. B. Wolf. C. Hyena. I genuinely don't know. Hyena. The answer for number six is Hyena. C. Yeah. Lion King. There we go. Here we go, it's getting harder. Number seven. Who's that? 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 I feel like a beaver and a hamster cat make that sound because it's too loud. C meerkat. I don't think it's a hamster. Meerkat? The answer for number seven is a beaver. Yeah. Beaver. Almost. Number eight. <laughs> I say a tiger. I think this is a tiger. So should that come out of like Godzilla or something? A bear. B panda. C muskox. What's a muskox? No more on that. I say it's either a bear or a muskox. Muskox. 
The answer for number eight is a bear. Ah, yeah. At least got a C right now, 70%. Number nine. It has to be a chicken. Yeah, one thingy, that one thingy. One thingy. Oh, so high pitched. What's this? What's this? A. Parrot. B. Toucan. C. Ostrich. Is there a parrot or a toucan? Oh, wait, wait, wait! I say toucan. Tajo, Tajo. Ostrich. The answer for number nine is. B Tugan! What? Why? <gasps> parrot, parrot. <gasps> Wowzers level! Number 10! Final round, here we go! <laughs> this sounds like my dad's farting sound. <laughs> Sounds like someone snoring. You want to cook on a sodia, Ivan? A. Hippo. B. Rhino. C. Tapir. I say rhino. That's that guttural. A. The answer for number 10, the final round is. Be right Woo! Tatilus. All right. Ninety percent. How many did you get right? Send your name, score, and picture to Yohando. That was fun. It was very hard. That was so fun. I did not know that I knew so many animals. I got all 10 of them right, you know what I'm saying? How was it? It was fun. It was really interesting to like hear all the sounds. It was fun. I didn't hear any animal sounds. Beaver. The toucan. Kopulso. 교육자 수행에 가면은 우리 신년 전도사님이 코 고는 소리하고 거의 똑같아서 헷갈렸어요. 뭐 이런 소리. Nine? It's like it's like it's like my that's far. It's so like. Boy. Hey guys. So how many did you guys get right? Send us a picture of yourself with how much you got right and who knows maybe we'll have a prize for people who got the most right on your honor so before we go into the bible story let me share with you a very important story for today jesus called disciples one day jesus was walking along the sea he saw two brothers, Simon, who was called Peter, and Andrew. They were drawing nets into the sea to catch fish. Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will teach you to fish for people. Peter and Andrew dropped their nets and followed Jesus. Later, he saw two more brothers, James and John. The men were fixing their fishing net. Jesus talked to them and they got up too. James and John left their boat and followed Jesus. Jesus traveled further and he saw a man named Matthew. Matthew was a tax collector sitting at an office where people paid taxes. Jesus said to Matthew, Follow me. 
So Matthew got up. He left everything behind and he followed Jesus. Later, Jesus chose 12 of his friends to be his disciples. That meant Jesus was going to give them a special job to do. They would work with Jesus and tell others about him. As you just saw right now, Jesus went and called his disciples. It's interesting the people he chose as disciples. If I were Jesus, I think I would have prepared and picked the smartest and the most powerful and the richest and the strongest people of the land. But it's interesting, Jesus goes to very ordinary people, people that wouldn't really stand out in society, Jesus goes to them and says, follow me. Let me share with you a verse from the Bible. It's from Matthew chapter 4, verse 19. And it says this, And he said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Verse 20, Immediately they left their nets and followed him. Jesus, called the disciples from different groups. However, one of the main groups that Jesus decided to pick the disciples from were fishermen. Fishermen were kind of the ordinary people of the day. They went to go fish for that day, and whatever they caught, that's what they had for food. And they would sell the leftovers and make money, and that's how they would support their families. But it also meant that their job was kind of insecure. When they caught a lot of fish, yay! Good for them. But when they didn't catch any fish, oh, sad for them. So it was a job that had gone up and down. And we see that in today's passage in the context that they were washing their nets, meaning they didn't catch much. As a matter of fact, some people think they didn't catch anything. So imagine if you were a fisherman and you caught nothing. I don't know if you have been fishing, but I've gone to fishing before and I've had moments where I caught nothing. I tried for hours and hours and my son was saying, Daddy, when are you going to catch a fish? And I'm like, I'm trying, son. And when I didn't catch anything, it wasn't the best feeling. I can tell you that. We see today that the disciples, that's what they were going through. But Jesus came along. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And Jesus talked to them and said, hey, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. It's interesting. If you were the disciples, and you heard that while you were washing the nets, what would you have thought? I would have thought, like, what are you talking about, you crazy man? Fishers of men? I can't even catch fish. Do you want me to get nets and throw it around on top of people and be like, I caught you, yay! Is Jesus saying, we're going to go play tag with people, or what is this? No. Jesus meant fishers of men to save them. The disciples, they had a choice. Whether to listen and actually obey and become Jesus' follower, or think, uh-uh, no way, that's not going to happen, and just pretend like he was this crazy person. It's interesting that the disciples, they listen to Jesus. Now, I'm not just talking about listening one with one ear and go out the other ear. I'm talking about listen, listen. Listen with the heart. When Jesus talks and he speaks to his disciples, it's not just the listening that he wants isn't just with the ear. It's from the heart and it demands an action. It means when you listen to his voice, there's an action that should follow when you listen to his voice, the disciples had a question to answer. Do they listen and do something about it, or do they listen and brush it off? There are moments in our lives where we have to listen. And as a matter of fact, I know many of you at home are listening to your parents. Go clean your room. Go put your toys away. Share. Eat your food! And you can 
fill in the blank for yourself. So many things that your parents or your siblings ask you to do, and you're thinking, oh my goodness, when does this all stop? But it's interesting. The listening that Jesus wants isn't just, it's into the heart. Listening and obeying. It's interesting. The disciples, the Bible says, the very next verse, they immediately dropped their nets and followed Jesus. Why? Because they listened with their heart and they obeyed with their actions. Brothers and sisters, God calls us to do the same today as well. To put our faith in Him. To believe in Him. To listen to Him. Not just with our ears, but with our hearts and to obey with our actions. That's what it means to be a disciple of Jesus. Today, we celebrate the birthday of our church. 11 years ago, our church was created because people who decided to listen and obey God's voice planted this church because they believed it wasn't going to be easy, but they believed that Jesus had called them to plant this church. So Pastor Cohen, the elders and different members came together and they started meeting together and praying and supporting so that this church could happen. And that's the reason why even to this day, I know we're in separate places and we celebrate together that we are one church. Why? Because they listened and followed his voice. Brothers and sisters, right now, earlier, we took a quiz, listening to the animal voices. You listen very carefully to figure what that is. I pray that this week we may live our lives listening to God's voice. What does Jesus want me to do? What does he want me to do as we interact in the things that we say to our parents or to our siblings or with our friends as we interact? What does God want me to do? Let's think about that and let's follow Jesus this week.
hope you enjoyed episode six of Fear Busters. We talked about following Jesus. Did you hear that? Did you hear the voice of Jesus? Hearing is not only just listening, but it's also following in the path that Jesus has called you to be. So I hope you enjoyed the craft that I just did. So make sure you make one at home. This is the other version. So make sure to make your craft and share with us your creativity. You can put it up on Instagram with the hashtag DCL Fear Busters, or you can send it to us to email at dccdiscipleland at gmail.com. You can also send it to any of the pastors. So as long as we get it, we will show off your creativity with everyone. We'll have a wonderful week. God bless you guys. We love you and we miss you. And we have this drive through later on this afternoon. So hope to see you then. God bless. Bye guys.